In this video, we'll explore the topics and concepts that will be covered in the experiments which accompany the QNET Myoelectric Trainer. This trainer is designed to teach students about electromyography signals and the manipulations of those signals. The accompanying experiments cover topics of signal analysis and processing, linear envelope, zero order hold, and servo position control. These topics relate to necessary features of prosthetics devices, bioinstrumentation, assisted control in aircrafts, and unvoiced speech recognition. Using the QNET Myoelectric Trainer with LabVIEW, we can introduce and investigate real-world applications of these topics, applying theory to simulation and experimentation. In the EMG sensor setup experiment, we investigate how the human body emits a voltage through muscles when changing their state between flexed and not flexed. This type of investigation is done in the field of medicine to look for muscle abnormalities. In this experiment, we use the Dynamic Signal Analyzer tool to show the signal emitted by a muscle in its different states. We can confirm that the EMG sensors have been properly set up if the peak voltage exceeds 2 volts when the muscles are contracted. In the EMG signal processing experiment, we perform signal analysis and investigate signal processing. This type of analysis and processing is done in a large number of areas extending past the scope of electromyography, such as circuitry, audio and visual components, and electronics. We begin by running the Dynamic Signal Analyzer tool. We can qualitatively analyze the difference between the signals generated by a muscle when it is relaxed and a muscle when it is contracted. We'll also investigate the data and record the absolute peak voltage of the EMG signals. Next, we open the QNET Myoelectric Student VI and run it. In the EMG tab, we can see the EMG signal and the high pass filtered and rectified signal. We can adjust the high pass filter cutoff to reduce the signal noise and optimize these signals. Next, on the envelope tab, we can adjust the low pass filter cutoff to make the envelope smoother. By analyzing the differences in low pass filter cutoff values, you'll be able to see how these are effective in making the envelope smoother. In the final experiment, EMG control, we investigate servo control using the EMG signal to move the servo motor. This experiment demonstrates principles which could be used with prosthetic devices and bioinstrumentation. In the EMG control experiment, starting on the envelope tab, we'll be adjusting the zero order hold period to ensure that the output signal is responsive enough to the peaks of the envelope. We'll need to restart the VI for the new value to take effect. Note that the values of the zero order hold period must be an integer multiple of the VI sampling interval defined by the sampling rate. Otherwise, an error will occur within the VI. Next, we'll manually change the servo command knob and examine its effect on the servo position. From this point onward, you'll be modifying the block diagram of the VI to change the way the code behaves. For more information about working on the block diagram, watch the accompanying block diagram tutorial video. For demonstration purposes, we'll continue with our VI assuming the block diagram has changed per the lab instructions. Once we've made the first changes to the VI, we'll be verifying that the threshold value is properly controlling the direction. When we're satisfied, we'll capture the response. From here, we'll modify the code to implement the dead zone width, the integral gain, the manual direction, and the upper and lower limits. Once this is done, we can enable the servo and tune our integral gain and dead zone width values so that the clamp moves at a reasonable rate when the muscle is contracted and doesn't move when it's relaxed. Finally, We'll change the code on the block diagram to combine the direction and servo position algorithm to give full servo control. We'll enable the servo and test our system. The parameters will need to be tuned so that we can easily open and close the position of the clamps just using our muscles.
In this video, we explored the topics and concepts that will be covered in the experiments which accompany the QNET myoelectric trainer. These topics of interest include signal analysis and processing, linear envelope, zero order hold, and servo position control.